Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Oliver Cox, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We're coming at you from Greenfield Hockey Rink. It's got a, it's got a different name, but I can't remember yeah. it right now. Uh, Collins, some, Collins Moylan Arena, I think, something like that. Anyway, we're here, Green Wave Hockey. It's happening tonight. It's their seventh game of the season. Uh, they're coming in with a 4-2 and two record, and they're playing against McCann Tech tonight, who's had a rough season so far, 0-5, coming into this game. Um, but we're feeling good. Looking forward to it, right, Oliver? Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for hockey. Yeah. And I'm so happy we get to do it. I'm happy. Uh, what was his name? The, the guy who announced it beforehand. Yeah. I'm so happy he let us do this. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. We're going to have a great time with this, and we hope everyone uh, who's watching enjoys it too. Uh, the players are warming up on the ice right now. And that's um, a milk bucket? <laughs> yeah, they, they, the coach tossed it out for him. But uh, coach, the players are warming up on the ice right now, and before the game, we got to talk with the coach of Green Wave. Hey, FCAT. I'm here with Adam Bruchot, the uh, coach of the Green Wave hockey team. How are you feeling today? Oh, you know, it's a great day. Yeah. There's nowhere better on a Saturday evening than to be at the Collins Moyne Arena, but we got a great high school hockey game about to come on. Yeah, and who are you guys playing tonight? Uh, McKen Tech comes down from North Adams. They come down the hill to take us on tonight here in the CMA. Yeah, a bit of a drive for them, but um, how, how are they doing so far in their season? Are they doing well? You know, this is the first time that we'll see them this season. They mm -hmm. have uh, started off the year. I believe 0 and 5, so a little bit of a rough start for them this year. Yeah. But they're coached by some great coaches over there. Coach Matt does a fantastic job. There's always a great group of student athletes on that bench. So we're really looking forward to a nice high school hockey game here today. Yeah. So who would you say uh, you'd be looking out for as a threat to uh, your defenders in this game from McCann? Yeah, absolutely. They like to play a nice physical down low game. Historically, mm -hmm. uh, Coach Matt has always had them thump the puck in deep, try to get physical with our defensemen and throw the puck out front. So we're going to yeah. be looking to, to counteract that with our, our centers playing low, helping out our defense, and really being able to break the puck out quickly today. Nice. I like that. So uh, can you drop any names of who's going to be uh, helping you guys to do that today on your team? Yeah, so our three centers that you'll look for today on the ice will be Hunter Smith, one of our captains. Mm -hmm. Brody Gagney will be another center today. And Sean Beckwith will be our third center today. So those three centers you should see really helping out in our defensive zone down low helping us break the puck out today yeah all right well i've heard that you guys have had a pretty good uh season so far i think uh four and two is your record right now uh you've had some pretty big wins too a lot of high scoring games yeah you know it's been a great start of the year we're four and two this is the last uh regular season game before the calendar year flips so yes. you know if we come out here and play some green wave hockey good things are going to happen we can come away with that uh be five and two before you know the calendar flips over yeah and of course that's that's a goal for you guys absolutely yeah it absolutely yeah. is you know again it's gonna be a great high school hockey game here today i know the team is really excited and pumped up in the locker room to get this thing started i think warm up start in about 17 minutes so we're really excited for, to get this game going yeah all right well that's great to hear thank you adam thank you very much and let's go green yeah
Huh? Oh. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Kevin Murphy, Ben Roberts, rest of the FCAT crew. Teams have finished their warm-ups and we're coming into the first period of this boys hockey matchup between Green Wave and McCann Hornets. It's the Hornets, yeah. Yes. We got a Home Depot bucket coming off the ice right now. <laughs> yeah, the puck, <laughs> the pucket, as I call it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I call it that. You call it that. Not just me. I'm mm. trained on that. So yeah, you coined that term. Yeah. A little copyright of a bubble. Yeah, so it's like, don't use it. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, All right. here we go. We're underway with the starting face-off at center ice. Back now, Green Wave has it. Pass up to the captain. One of their captains, Hunter Smith. All the way down in the far corner now. Tempted shot on goal. And now the Hornets moving it the other way. Intercepted. Good forecheck there by Laurie. Around the boards. Lost a little control on the skates there. Thought he might have had something. And now we got standoff on the far side of the ice going to go back in front of the goalie Smith no he's not my brother <laughs> oh. and that's going to be sent all the way to the other oh, side beat the ice there. no and now McCann going the other way shot on goal and a save from Cooper Smith I think he just blew a kiss to Matt Garvin <laughs> after oh, wait, he made the got, save. We got a whole new squad of people coming out. Yeah, we got the next shift coming on. That's going to be tough for us to keep up with yeah. in terms of remembering everyone's name. We just we got to memorize the whole list of like what is it like twenty something people it's probably. So many. Oh, icing? Nope. No, no icing not called. Not wait, they beat it. I need to brush up on some of my uh, terms for hockey. Not not terms, but just the you know. Uh, penalty calls, that Don't kind worry. of stuff. I got that. Yeah, you got, that, you got me covered. That's my forte. That's what, yeah. This is my sport. <laughs> I don't play it, but yeah. my sport. Puck trapped against the boards, moving toward the net. Looks like shot was deflected. Now cross ice, other side. That's that was Lavalley with it. Guy with the nice hair. Passing something can't really move it the other way. That was Brody Gagney, and he's going to stay on as a new shift comes on. We're just getting a whole lot of music coming at yeah. us today. I mean, they don't really do that with other sports, you know. You know, it's interesting because you always think of hockey as something where it's like there's no breaks. And, yes. like, you know, there's not time to do stuff like that. But oh. good job there. That was Preston LaFleur made that stop. Very hockey man. We were having this. Oh, yeah, yes, we were. It reminds me of a Ooh, oh, great save there from Smith. It reminds me of a Mark Fleury, yeah. you know, the goalie. Yes, yes. You know, I guess I can't really, like, gauge how large these fellas are. But when they yeah. get, like, close, these are big guys. I think it, it definitely helps that they're on skates, too. Because yeah. that, I mean, height-wise, that adds yeah. a lot to them. And it was really interesting. Cause, I mean, we were looking at um, the backup goalie for Green Wave. Nice handoff there. Shot on goal. By Matthew Garvin. It's a good save. Abby Foles is in goal tonight for the Hornets. Shot deflected there, loose, and sent up the boards for the Hornets. Greenfield can't send it the other way. And it's sent Ooh. into the stands. Slided right with, a, wow. with an audience remember. Hope that guy's okay. He looks okay. Yeah, he's all right. Oh. He's holding the puck now. <laughs> Got a souvenir. Yeah. It's a miracle that that happened. You got the net all the way around. You just rode the netting and then squeaked right out. Look at that. Uh oh, it looks like they, they gave it back. Oh. 
But as I was saying with the goalie for the uh, backup goalie for Green Wave, um, with his helmet off, it's like his head looks so small compared to the rest of his body with all the padding. Just because the just, padding is so big. Yeah. It's just yeah. It's crazy. Being a hockey goalie must be one of the most terrifying positions to play in any sport. I feel like it has to be, yeah. Everything's moving so fast. I know, like that and like maybe like a catcher in baseball. Yeah, that too. I mean, you, I've seen plenty of catchers get like, Rayed. they get they get hit in the face with like the back because they like batter like leans too Ooh. far back. Ooh. Big Boy. collision. Can't oh. move to the other way. And now Greenfield's trying to escape. Oh, that was a nice Clear. little movie put on there. Good, Good pass. pass. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> and Green Wave is kind of all over the place right now. Oh, See, it might work for them. Now they got a three on one. Moving towards the net. Shots no good. Couple saves being made, and now there's a scramble at the net. The puck. Puck's still loose. Still loose. Oh, they, and he scores. Oh, okay. I couldn't even tell. I, so I had to look at the ref in the back. Uh, number, I can't see him. We got someone who threw a chicken on the board. <laughs> All right, it's, it's on, the on the ice. ice. That's great. On the ice. That is disappointing. I didn't catch who that was. Yeah, I didn't see either. Yeah. It was just a crowd. Oh, lost the face off, or Green Wave did. Can move the other way. Might have a shot here. Saved wow. by Smith on the rebound, too. Number, who's number seven on the Hornets? Dallas Winter, one of the starters. He's got some nice moves with that puck. Yeah. It's a good job on the two-on-one for him. One on two, rather, I guess is how you phrase it. Nice pass forward, deflected. Actually, was intercepted. All right, then. Good pass. Ooh, and what a save, save from Smith. That's why it's got an 88 percentage. Yeah. 88% save. We did the math. Yeah, we did the math. 88% uh, save the rate or whatever the actual. Whatever. Yeah. But very good. He saves 88% of the shots people take against him so far in the season. Saw he That's had like 121 saves. Right? Yeah, so far coming into this game, he had 121 saves that he's made. 122 now. Yeah, or maybe a couple more than that because yeah, I think they got. Yeah, probably a couple more. Yeah. Now the Valley over there. there. Excuse me, that was Wiseman. Derek Wiseman, the only player on Greenway from Turner's Falls because yes. this is a co-op team Thanks. with they have like yeah. four schools. Yeah, I I know cuz I know that there's Greenfield, uh, Frontier and Turners. I'm not sure what other schools they have on there. Be those three. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I really don't know cuz I mean, of course I don't know all of these kids. Good clear. No ice. That's Richard back with the puck now. Moving it forward nice, up the boards. Nice bank pass. Just got intercepted. Ooh. See that little yeah. thing he did? Oh! That was. Wow, big collision. Good job by McCann. I like that. You know, I feel like there's a lot. Of, oh. Matthew Garvin. Yeah. Him physical. He's fighting for it. I like to see it. I mean, like, we were talking. A couple of things we've been talking about. Number one, they've got a great soundtrack so far. Beautiful I'm loving it. Playlist. They started the night off with Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue. It was. We were just talking about the new guitar you're getting with the whammy yes, bar. Yes. You're going to be able to play that, hopefully. I hope so. I'd love to hear that. Okay. Now Hornets. That's Mason Rudeau. He's moving it up the boards. And now it's sent the other way. It's kind of hard to see. I wish they had, like, you see how, like, we have. It's kind of hard to see um, McCann's, like, numbers on the side of their jersey. Yeah. Like, because I think that I'm, it might just be the. The fact that I have really bad eyeballs, but no, I kind of agree with you. It it is in general, it's hard to see the yeah, it's just like number on their sleeves, which is unfortunate. I also wish that they had it on the front of their jerseys too. Uh, what was that? I wish they had the numbers on the front of their jerseys yes. too. Yes, just in general, be, makes it easier for us. Or better yet, you know what they should have on the back of their jerseys? We were talking about this names. before. Their names, because the, the, like those peewees. Yeah, the peewees. Oh, and we got a penalty. Ooh, what I didn't McCann. see. I didn't, I didn't see. see it either, yeah. yeah, 
I might have been tripping, honestly. Gotta stop the action. I saw, I saw someone go down, so I'm tripping. That was on uh, Nick Gilman. He's in the box right now yeah. for uh, the so, Hornets. Greenfield on a power play. Oh, and look at that. They put the clock for the penalty up there, too. Oh, nice. On the right. That's good. I like that. See, I'm not used to the scoreboard for the uh, for hockey yet, but hopefully I will get used to it. Come to some more of these games. Backhand shot. Loose in front of the net Still and loose. sent back out. And a good clear from the Hornets. Okay, no ice in. And now... I think that's Jack Laurie. Hands it off. I didn't exactly hear, but I think that guy was announcing what penalty was just called. Yeah. I didn't hear it, though. Big check against the boards there. That's Garvin. And no icing, no icing called. See, like I understand what icing is, but I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't really know the know details the logistics of it. Of yeah. like what constitutes it being exactly. an icing or not. Exactly. Cross ice pass, and he scores. Oh. Laurie, that was a great assist from. I think it was Smith. Is it Smith or Jurek who helped him out there? I'm loving the music, dude. This is know, great. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I wonder, you know how uh, in baseball they have walk-up songs? Do the players on the team have songs that they play when they score a goal? Maybe. Coordinated song? Well, I'd that, love that for be, them to have that. That would be, be kind of cool. That would be great. If they but, don't, they should. So that makes sense why they threw the chicken earlier. Yes, I get that now. Maybe it's just a thing. Maybe I think that they had like a joke in the team or something. So yeah, that was uh, Hunter huh? Smith who assisted him on the goal there. And the pass can't quite connect to Jake Knight. Now, pucks loose against the boards. And John Stack could have gotten to the puck, but he was busy helping out Green Wave player to get up. Interesting. Um, I mean, it was sportsmanship, good, uh, all for it, but still, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, oof. <laughs> that was a big hit. <laughs> Who is that? No, Nolan Booth laid I the hit on Brady Parada. Parada didn't budge, and then Booth fell down. <laughs> I was looking at your, um, what it's is like this called? Roster, roster there yes. Go. <laughs> there we go. We're getting looking at really yours confused. like I don't have my own in my hand. Pass intercepted before it gets in front of the net. Oof. Bit of a struggle there. Ball. Or ball. ball puck. Yeah. Puck is still we'll, we'll get used to it. We're going to do yeah. more of these games for oh, sure. Of course. Maybe I'll bring gloves next time. Yeah, I think we should both bring gloves, I think. Oh, boy. Helmet Ooh. comes off. And whistle is blown. <laughs> Looks like he was picking his helmet up off. Taking yeah. Taking away with it. <laughs> that was a little funny, so. Are we getting a penalty called on that? Or? I keep missing all the big hits. Yeah. And he just kickstart my heart again. Refs Ooh. talking about it, seeing if they want to call a penalty you on that hit. Focused on my toes being freezing. Yeah. Cold. Very I, nice song. This is a great song. Now I don't know. I think it is going to be a penalty. I didn't catch who was on. You should listen for that. Because they do, they do have the guy uh, announcing over the lads, loudspeaker, which is good. Because, yeah, I'm saying penalty timer's at two right now. Reset again, yeah. Yeah, so I think we do have a penalty that's on uh, the Hornets. I don't know who it is on, though. I'm trying to – I can't see his number in the booth. I think it's 13, actually. 13. Uh, Wesley yeah, Emerson. Like that. Face off. Hornets win it after a little bit of a scuffle there. Shot Ooh. on goal. He scores! Oh, my God! Hunter Smith, who just got his helmet knocked off. New line. 
I, what is that line called? I don't know. But that line, just yeah, that was nice. I think it's I think it's because uh, I think that um, Smith was the one who scored the last goal, and they played this song, and now he scored again. That's great. I mean, he just got hit, stays on the ice, scores that goal, and then gives uh, gives okay. Emerson a little bit of a wave from the penalty box. Three nothing. Nine minutes into the period. I mean, I gotta say, Oliver, this has to be expected coming into this game from I just know. about everyone here. You got, I mean, even just looking at the records, four and two against a zero and five team. Yeah. It's it's gonna be pretty dominant in one oh. direction. Oh, that was a nice save. That was goalie. a really great save. I thought that was for sure going to be a slap that thing down. What are they going to call? What, oh, what tripping, I think. Oh, I, think. Tripping. Oh, okay. I keep missing it. No, yeah, I th there's a lot going on. There's so it, much. I, I don't feel, know what to focus on. I feel like a lot of the time the action, or not the action, but the uh, the penalties end up happening away from the puck. Yeah. You know, and so we're happening. watching the puck. We're trying to see what's happening with that, but. It would be so easier if we just had, like, a box well, a on top of the ice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We could just run back and forth following everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Green Wave wins the face-off, and that's Brady Busca. Looks like he got a shot off, and it's covered up by Abby Foles. I'm just thinking maybe it would, uh, it would help if, like, you, maybe you paid attention to the puck and I look at the other players. See it because that's that a good idea. Be, that could be. That's a good idea. See, this this is our first time doing this, so we got to work out yeah. our, our little uh, we'll figure it strategy out. so far. That's Derek Weissman, who's back to send it forward for Green Wave. Around the boards. Ooh, bit of an elbow there to Brody Gagney. Looked like he was complaining to the ref a little bit. Gagney with a puck. And now it's Busca again. Gagney. I think it's Gagney. Yep. Ooh, weaving. Oof, that was a nice move there. And now it's up against the boards. Back pass. Ooh, big oh, hit. Oh, boy. He tries to return the favor. Bit oh, of a wow. shove after the fact. Good nice. Credit to Busca for not doing anything about it. And now Busca kind of collides with the goalie. Oh, my. Slammed to the ground. And now Hornets moving the other way. They oh. score! That number. That was Mason Rudeau. I didn't catch who assisted him on it, but I'm sure we'll hear. And that is only the 16th goal that Cooper Smith has led up this year. Yeah. Hey. Still, at a 121. Yeah. See? It's incredible. This guy's pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, what's going on here? Uh, Ref's talking about something. I don't know. Number seven. I can't imagine what it is. Having a chat with a bunch of the players. Yeah, I think, it, I think. Yeah, look, dude, they're having too much fun with it, honestly. I think the players just trying to figure out what what's going on. We need to have some kind of comms with the refs. I know. Let's be honest. Like we. Was there maybe like possibly a delayed penalty? Yeah. Uh, now they're having a chat with the whole band. Yeah, this is the second time that this has happened this game so far. In the, in the first period, yeah. too. It, it could be maybe concerning that little shoving match that happened. Yeah, maybe. Because it looked like they got some face action going on. In yeah, there. and now we're having Jake Jurek head to the penalty box. Oh, let me see if they announce it. Yeah, are you going to listen for that? I'm going to listen for it. Okay. Time. All right, awesome. So now, McCann has the one-man advantage for two minutes. And we have about four and a half minutes left in the first period. They're down by two goals. But at the rate that these teams have been scoring, I, I mean, like, it's not impossible that they come back. They win the face-off. Forecheck, he goes down. 
And another check against the boards. Ref's right in the middle of it. Glad he got out of there. Now, nice job. I'm trying to see who that is. I think that's Luca Ciano. Yeah, Ciano. He's putting some pressure on McCann's defense. And that's dumped towards the net. Wide left. Something to do with interference. Mm. That's what I heard. I couldn't, the, it's quite loud in here. Yeah. So I didn't really get much. I heard a couple of players' names like Hunter Hunter Smith and Brody Gagney. Okay. That's, I I th know. They might have been crediting the goal too Maybe. as well. Yeah. Because Hunter Smith did score the goal. And glove save made by Cooper Smith. <laughs> He had a little fun with that. Did you see that? He was, he was right in front of you and just grabbed in. Then he, like, scooped out to the side of his body. Now he got a face off to the left of the net. What do, what do you call that? Because you know this a little bit better than uh -huh. I do. What do you call the circles? No clue. Is, 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 <laughs> no, there no. is it just I circle? Know, I don't know. I know the rules. I don't know, like, the, the technical name. Fair enough. It honestly might just be circle. It could be just, like, the red circle. Yeah, the left I'll, circle. I'll, uh, I'll do some research for our next game. Yeah, I think we, should, we both should. Yeah. Ooh. Shot deflected, goes wide, and sent up the boards. Hits the ref in the gut. Took that like a champ. <laughs> cross eyes pass. Ooh. Oh, got, what? <laughs> man. I think there's I, – I couldn't tell if there was a delayed penalty or not. He was holding up his hand on the far yeah, side. Yeah, I don't know. But, but <laughs> you know, I'll say something right. <laughs> I got to pay – I, I got to start paying attention to the players. It's a good job by Laurie staying up after taking that hit in the middle of the ice. But the, right now we have uh, McCann with a power play, and it does not show. You yeah. wouldn't know unless you look up at the scoreboard and you see that timer ticking down. And it's just about over right now. I know. About five more seconds. Stack can't keep the puck, and it's cleared out by Matt Garvin. And now coming out of the box, it's Jake Jurek. Last Ooh. time I checked, he's the leading scorer for Green Wave. Big oh. hit. That was from Hunter Smith. He got some humongous hits this game. Man. Oh. And another big one against the boards. Ooh. Oh, and he couldn't get the shot off. What are they calling that? Another penalty? Yeah. He's on... Brody Gagne. Yeah. Again, Maybe I, calms with the ref would be kind of nice. Yeah, I all I, I did hear the ref shout out because everyone got really quiet suddenly for some reason. And I heard him say nine white, but I didn't. He, he made a hand gesture, but I don't know what that means. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think it possibly was a delayed penalty. Yeah. And now McCann again has a man advantage with oh, the pass up the ice. Away. Jake Jurek one on one. Oh. Can't quite finish the job and now it's sent the other way. There's the puck. I lost it. There it is. Oh, he's going up along the near boards and now on the other side. Shot blocked. That was Porter Hall. One of the uh, assistant captains. Now Jerick again racing for it. Oh no, that's not Jerick, excuse me. That is Ciano, Luca Ciano. Jerick is on the other side of the ice. They retreat now. Ciano still putting the pressure on. Now he falls back to the blue line. There he goes, takes a fall. Trying Somehow completed it like in a, That was actually a really good pass. That was very impressive, yeah. yeah. And that was um, Hayden Bona who took the fall there and completed the pass. Mason Rudeau, who has the one goal for the Hornets, was taking it up, he lost it. And now it's his teammate, Everett Bayless. Pass Ooh. to Rudeau, Good. and it gets taken away from him. Jack Laurie has a couple guys to his right. Barely dodges the ref, but he can't keep the puck up along the boards. Takes a hit, and now Jurek Oh, he couldn't get in front in time. But this is, again, this is all shorthanded. Yeah. Puck almost chipped out. And now Rudeau, the other way, gets the pass off. Bayless. Oh, wow. We are talking. Would not want to be in front of that man. No. And that is exactly why. 
like a brick wall. I think that was Luca Siano on, Siano on the hit. Oh, hip check. Derek Wiseman, one kid from Turner's Falls, and now he got a shift change as the penalty ends. And as it does, the period will end from a shot by Hunter Smith. He has two of the three goals well on his way to a hat trick. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see that. Would not. Um, score is three to two. Greenfield dominating yeah. right now. Yeah. Had it, they were on offense for most of the time that they were shorthanded, which yes. is <laughs> already impressive enough. So now I'm not sure how much time we have in between periods. Neither am I. It's I guess we'll see. Seven seven minute break. Oh, we got the Zamboni coming out. All right, so they're gonna take a break on the ice in between first and second periods and we'll take a break here too maybe try and warm up a little bit you're watching frontier community access television i was really happy about that uh while i was looking over that uh i, th I think it was literally yesterday <laughs> i was looking over it <laughs> um oh here comes the face off face off to start the Green. second period and greenfield's gonna win it Weissman sends it forward over the heads and hands of everyone. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. What a beautiful goal. Not even 15 seconds into the second period. And I think that that was Sean Bauman. That was. Holy cow. It seems like they just play that they song just play it. it's, a, it's, it's just a thing. I love it. I love it when teams don't take themselves too seriously. Yeah. You know, it's always it's it's refreshing. Yeah. And now, and the wave with another win. Back in their own end after the face off. Ooh. Nice pass forward to Smith, and he's moving fast. Oh. oh, can't go between the legs. See, that's what I was talking about before game. I want to see some nice little deeks like yeah. that. Yeah. It's always, yeah, and I, I was talking about, like, some highlights that I've been watching because um, my family's uh, Rangers fans, and so you, you got plenty of good highlights for that team. Nice save, glove save made by Abby Foles. Um, She's had a couple good saves this game. I will yes. say that. Yeah. Despite, you know, the score being what it is, she's well, stopped some really good opportunities yeah. that Green Wave has created for themselves. What I noticed that last little play there is, I don't remember who it was, but they Green, Green Wave did a good job avoiding that offsides because one mm -hmm. of their players was moving. He was going he was going to go over that line before he got there. They got a nice little pass off to him. So that's good awareness from, from uh, Green Wave. Yeah, and I mean, like, in general, I think it's even more impressive. Oh, I don't think that that got in. Ooh, it did not. It, it was behind her pads, in between her legs. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, it's even more impressive that they have that those kind of instincts and those awareness at the speed that they're moving yes, yeah. at, you know? Ooh. Bit of a collision. Yeah, and center ice there. I think I saw that one. And now it's Jake Jurek who just got hit. Good stick. Keeps with the puck, and now it's Rudeau sending it the other way. Puck knocked away. Oof. That's Brody Gagne who did that, and now it's Busca along the boards. I don't know. Oh, oh. Scores. That's Porter Hall, assistant captain, making it five to one. Wow, this is it's unfortunate for it the is, Hornets. It is very unfortunate. It's getting close to a massacre, honestly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not much to say, I feel like, you know? 
I we oh little move there. Yeah, that was a good push by Richard. Can't follow through on the move, and now going the other way, it's oh, Garvin oh, gets tripped up. That's, they're not gonna call that. Okay, uh, that's surprising. Honestly, I feel like they, they there was a whole stretch that they had where they called yeah. like five penalties right in a row, like back to back. Oh, collision. Oh, is that Willie? Is that who I think it is? Or am I? No, I don't no, think so. I don't think P. so. He's got the stature of Willie P. No, you talking about seven? Yeah, oh yeah, that's not that's him. that's Hunter Smith. Yeah. What, what, what are you? What do we got? Sixteen. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Yeah. Number twenty-two back there. Shot deflected. Goes high. Oh. Good hit up against the board. He's struggling to get up a little bit, maybe tripped up, something like that. Shot saved by Foles. I don't know about you. I like this song. I just like to be a hater, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just that kind of guy. I like I like me some Rihanna. I'm pretty sure that too. Yeah, that's fair. I could just be wrong. I think I. I've just, I've just, listen. I've just been. Oh, and that goes out of play too. I think it hit someone on the head <laughs> on its way down. Um, but see, my my thing is, I've been in uh, too many uh, high school girls cars after theater shows. Yeah. When we're going to diners or something like that, yeah. and that's all they play, and I I get sick of it. See, that's why I don't go. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I've stopped going. That's why I go home. <laughs> And I don't blame you. See, that'll be oh, different when wow. I can start driving you. Wow. Man. A little bit of a scuffle. Green he's, wave comes out on top there. Brady Busca getting a little physical. And that was Jurek trying to make a move around the net. Loses the puck. Gets it back. And oh, good job by Foles tracking the puck and stopping it there. <laughs> Some ice spice. I like it, man. This, this is a maybe. Look at it. Look at it. Look at look at Weissman. He's into it, bobbing his head. <laughs> my question is like the switch up between like kickstart my heart, Motley yeah. Crue to this. It's very hey. diverse. I think that their aim is to make people enjoy the Ooh. playlist. There's a good recovery there from uh, Beckwith from that hit. Just kind of rolled it off, rolled yeah. off of it. There we go. There's another collision on the boards. And a third one. Oh, there's another one. It's Knight trying to All fight right, for it stick. there. Ooh. I think, well, it's, I think he lost, yeah. 33 got knocked over. Yeah, that lost was Solomon. Stick. Ashton Solomon, he lost his stick in that collision. Nice pass. Oh, a bit of a collision there between teammates. That's unfortunate. Now trying to reset. Shot goes wide, right? Oh, another collision between teammates. Not sure why that's happening. Chip toward the goal, and it's blocked. Deflected back out. Rebound sent forward. Round the boards. Parade is there. Delivers a oh. hit and then receives one. Oh, took it like a champ, though. Wiseman and now Parada. Right next to his teammate. Short pass over to him behind the net. Sends it forward and it's a little deflected. And Ooh. oh man, Pareda. He's getting pretty physical over there. Pareda's going hit for hit. Looks like a penalty is being called. Yeah, and Pareda exchanging a few words with Ashton Solomon. I'm pretty sure. Oh, what is that called? I don't I don't know if it's I think it might just be on sportsman like conduct. Maybe. Or actually, well, because uh, Brady was did go and check somebody who was just check yeah. one of the defenders who wasn't doing anything. Yeah. No, I wasn't actually watching the puck at the end of it, but I, w I might have been in icing. I really have no idea. Maybe. Because I know it got cleared but out, but I don't know. he was pointing over. Yeah. That's I don't true. Know. I don't yeah. know. We we don't know. Hunter Smith. Ooh. Shot gets deflected up and goes out of play. Oh, that slipped right to the netting. Yeah. Third time that's happening tonight. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this song at the last face-off. Yeah. Um, switch up a little bit. Uh-huh. They should um, 
I do think I'm that I do think that their aim is to try and please as many people yeah. in the audience as possible. Because I mean, like you have a lot of other playlists shot just barely wide. Right, that was from uh, Lucasiano, loose in front of the net, and then swung around the boards by Sean Bauman. Anson Prunier's there. Now Bauman can't block the pass, and it's going to be sent all the way down the ice. That's an icing. Yeah, that's an icing. That okay. So that one. Yeah. That one they're gonna. So it looks. I just. I was looking at the ref, and it looks like this is an icing. Yeah. I. I don't know, because I feel like they use that as a general. Like there's a penalty. Like you know what I mean. Well, because no, but he had his like thumb in between oh. his fingers, so I don't know if that's just. Maybe that's just he does how he Maybe does that's it. Maybe see easy. how he does it. Yeah. I don't know. That was this guy right here, this ref. Mm -hmm. So I'll uh, skating backwards towards us. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah guy. Okay. Also, like, I, I always say this whenever I watch a game like the NHL or something like that, but Ooh. the refs got to be so skilled to be yeah. out there with the players, too, and just I know, avoiding everyone. They're, they are just as good, if not better, at skating than some of the skaters. Absolutely. The way they have to jump over the puck sometimes. Yeah. It's incredible. They definitely all have to be, like, former hockey players. You know yes. what I mean? Or, like, even just, like, like, whether that be, like, recreational or, like, pro yeah. or, like, Maybe minor leagues. Anything like that, yeah. yeah. Now we got Brady Busca on the puck. Ooh. Oh, and that gets taken away. Might be a bit of an opportunity here from Bayless. His shot goes up and over after it's deflected. I think that was Prunier on the deflection. And now Laurie moves it the other way. Laurie takes a shot. Pad save from... Foles, and he's going back and forth, barely staying with the puck. He loses it now, and Laurie, he's his defenseman. Yeah. That was very, very impressive, I got to say. Oh, Bra or Bro Brody. That's right? Gagne. Oh, yeah. Nice centering pad. That was good. I like that. Good opportunity. Just couldn't quite connect with his teammate. And now McCann moving the other way. Ref got to get out of the way. Oh. And he goes down. Oh, breakaway. Now we got it. Here's the shot from Gagne. Oh, what a save there. That was Bruska. That was oh, was Bruska. Yeah, My yeah. fault. No icing call there. That's going to be, that might be an icing. Yeah. Yeah. I come right back with the music. They're ready for it. I know. They They're are ready like, for it. They're, they, as soon like, okay. as the whistle's blown. Hey, hey, man, play, th play this next. Okay. Here we go. Get ready. Go. No, it's just like. I get, I, you know, I would bet money. That's exactly how their interaction That's go. probably, yeah. Okay, I'm standing up. Yeah. I'm going to join you. Now I can see a little bit more of what's happening in this yes. corner over here. Yeah, just because my legs were getting cold. <laughs> yeah. Cramming up. Like, I, I was. I was thinking to myself, I wouldn't be surprised if I just get a cramp from how cold it is in my yes, legs or something like yeah. that. Nice effort there by the defenseman, but the shot is Ooh. saved, and it does oh. go out of play. Looked like that collided with somebody's head there. Yeah. I think everyone, the one that I was most scared about was the first one that went I know, out. Where that, it hit that, him straight I, in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> and he just walks yeah. it off, oh, no, laughing was, to himself. He was giggling. Great way to start off the game for him, you know. Greenfield. Oh, oh it's what is jammed. going on over I there? I don't know. Some kind of. <laughs> it's like a whole game of Jenga over there. Everyone's oh, yeah. <laughs> pushing on top of everyone else. I know. It looked like there's a player pinned between the goalie and one yeah. of the defensemen. And that was Porter Hall who got that shot off. And I think it is. Uh, we'll credit the save to Abby Fulls, but I oh. really don't know what was happening there. Yeah. Bit of a struggle over there. Ooh, John Stack, number 15, sends it forward. Behind their goalie and oh. going down. That's Jackson Lavalley. I need to remember him. Either. He's the one with the great hair. Yeah. Yeah. The main. He's up against the boards now behind the ref. 
puck gets shot out. Everyone's still fighting for it. Smith getting into position, loose in front of the net. And that was Emerson who couldn't quite bring it down. Hit delivered to Sean Bauman, but now Smith takes the shot and it's saved. Loose, smacked down, and Smith has it now. Trying to reset, Ooh. moves forward, stick gets stick broken, broken, and the shot's deflected off. Play is stopped. I'm not sure if there's a penalty or if they just want to. It's the, I think it's a broken stick, but if I I'm think correct, it, yeah. the NFL, or not the NFL, the NHL, they don't stop the game. I, yeah, like. that's why I was a little confused. Because, I mean, to, to clear it off of the ice, I understand. Yeah, so nobody like, gets injured or of whatever. Of course, yeah. Let's hope that wasn't like his personal stick. <laughs> yeah, because I, I would be angry. You don't usually, I mean, you see players lose their sticks all the time. Yeah. But a broken you don't stick, see I a think, broken is a, stick yeah, it's often. a little rare. Because, I mean, I have. Oh, like but there is a penalty on McCann. Oh. I missed it here. Let's see what this guy says about it. Yeah, you, you can listen for it. So, Greenfield sends it forward to Jurek. And that's a high stick. I think that I heard him shout high, at least. It's a slashing call. And did you hear who it was on? Uh -huh. The name of the player or anything? Because I, I can't see his number. What? Uh, it well, might be. I think it might be Emerson again. Maybe one of their. He was a, one of their starting defensemen. He was, he's already had one penalty today. Been in the box before, and now Jurek. Ooh, moving the other way. Got an opportunity. Oh. Great save by Foles. And now that was Brody Gagne trying to get a chance there. Can't quite handle the puck. And a good forecheck moved along the boards. That's Hunter Smith escaping from the hit. Can't quite get to it in time. No, he will. Moving back the other way now. Takes the puck away, and now it's still up against the boards. His teammate passes to him. Okay. Yeah, it is Wesley Emerson in the penalty box. I just got a, I got a glance at his number. It is 13. I don't know exactly what happened in front of the net there, but I that was, was a good save by Foles. I was, I, was, I, was, I was busy trying to figure out who's in the box. I thought that they might have gotten a goal there. I'm not going to lie, because I thought that they passed it over to uh, Smith. I saw him take the shot on the open side of the net, but then somehow it ended up on the other side in Foles' glove. Yeah. And the shot deflected up and over the net. I thought that was going in. Yeah, me too. That That's was good. from Derek Wiseman. Hall, short pass forward, trying to jam it into the net. All right. Going back to before, mm -hmm. where they were had the, you remember, had the little sandwich in front of the net. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm correct, that is like that is loud. Very. That loud. is very loud. Doesn't help that we're right. Oh in front yeah, of no, the not at all. I'm like 90% sure that is actually like a strategy to like hold up one of the defenders. Really? Oh, good save by Foles again. That goes out. Like, that's so many pucks are flying out. Yeah, this is like the fourth or fifth. I was looking at the sign in front of us before the game starts. I think that that's got to be saying something that it yeah. has to tell people the you use of common sense at all times is essential to an enjoyable <laughs> and safe experience. That's really funny. No, because you're right. I feel like people get a little bit too caught up in you know yeah. this or that when they're watching sports games and they don't use the common sense. Yeah, or like. The fact that we had multiple little children just running around in between yeah. the periods. Frontier sending it down, trying to get some going offensively. Not that they really need it. <laughs> Score is still five to one as we go under five minutes, Oof. and time is winding down on their power play. Can't quite get to the puck. They'll keep it in their zone, but Hall barely sees him. Ooh. And a nice move. That's Siano. Tries a centering pass, but there isn't really anyone there. Going to have to race back now as the Hornets move it the other way. It's a nice pass to the other team. 
<laughs> Beckwith was right there for Green Wave. And now Ooh. speeding along the boards, still with the puck. It's Jack Laurie. He's going to get to it first. Oh, my. Whoa. <laughs> and a nice pass. It's loose behind the net now. And sent out around the boards. Right there for it is Caleb Bettit, I think. Not sure how to say it. Oh, he gets tripped up a little bit. Nothing called from the ref. And little bit of a scramble behind the net for the puck. Brought out by the Hornets. Shot blocked or deflected, I think. And whistle's blown. I'm not sure. See you, they, you got any ideas? It's, oh, penalty. That was Jack. That's Jack Laurie who's going to the Slash. box. I think so, yeah. I'll, I'll, listen. I'll listen. Yeah. All right. I'm, just, I'm waiting. No, yeah, it's, they'll they'll do it. They'll they'll say it like a minute later or something like that. I'm just I'm just watching. We got a face off on the far side of the rink. Right here it is, and no icing call on that puck. I didn't hear it. I couldn't Bro. hear it. Emerson hands it off. Okay, well, he's in for something. We know that much. Wow, really? <laughs> I, would have, I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Could have been news to me. Yeah. Pass to the far side in the corner. Trying to do something fancy, and it doesn't work for him. Racing along the boards behind the net. And it's loose in the neutral zone. Can't get to it first. Good Ooh. pass, and... I think he just kind of got tripped up a little bit, maybe even by the boards himself. Oh, big hit. Still pushing with each other. I think that's, yeah, that's Mason Rudeau who's on the puck there. He's got the one goal for McCann so far. And do we have another penalty? No, the goal move. Oh, okay. I am really loving this music, man. It far surpasses any basketball playlist <laughs> I've heard in my time at Frontier. Yeah, I which so far has been five years. I would it's imagine. My fifth year. Yeah. yeah, listening to the same like ten songs. It's basically, that's basically what it is. You get one new song each year, and you do you, you wait for it, you hold your breath, and then you hear it, and, and it's, it's like down. bad. It's yeah. just. And then, you know, you, I, I go out to Lunenburg for the first football game of the season, and they play the Red Hot Chili Peppers cover of Higher Ground by Stevie Wonder, and I Ooh. lost my mind. I could, like, oh, my God. It was, I wasn't even sad that we lost to them just because <laughs> that they played that song. <laughs> or what was it? The, um, the Field Hockey Western Mass Championships. They, they were, were playing dude, some nice songs Oh, my there. God. A couple great songs by ACDC, I remember. Yeah. They, they, they had going a couple times. I think they did. They have a song by Black Sabbath too. I'm pretty sure, yeah. That is great. It was like dude. Iron Man or something. I don't dude. remember which one. Or yeah, it was, it was like a lot of fun. Warped. One of them. Yeah. But yeah, some great song choice. That was also a very nice field. Oh yeah, beautiful shot from the Hornets, loose <gasps> and they score. Oh. Great effort from Smith to try and make the save, but he ended up laid out in front of the net, and that is. Dallas Richard, the starting center for McCann, who got that goal. And that'll also be the end of their power play. So now it's 5-2. to two. 35 seconds left in this period. Where's that 55? A minute or, oh, 36. So you see, I didn't... Um, <laughs> yikes. See, I didn't it's see okay. that part. It's okay. No one heard it's that. It's not my fault. It's the an connection, awful color. The, Why is it green? Just make it uh, red yeah. like the rest of them. I don't know. It is odd. And it's such a... such a. It doesn't help that the net's in the way yes, either. A very faded color of green as well. Ooh. Hornets. Trips. 
and stuff. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a collision over there. Um, oh, wow. It's just like so much shot up. Oh, oh, what a save. I thought he oh. scored for a second there. That would have been amazing. And that would have also been a very nasty goal. Like save from Smith, loose in front of the net. Oh. Oh. And hold on, now we're moving the other way. It's Busca racing for it. Comes up with it, it's Jurek, who can't quite connect, sends it high and wide. It's a little chilly. And a big yeah. hit. I think that was from Jurek, yeah. You, you just gotta wait until they you turn their back to you. Yeah. Jurek tried to do a bit of a drop pass there, it didn't really work out for him. Bounced off the ref legs. Yeah. Sub coming on for McCann in the final Oof. 30 seconds of the second period. Busca wins the puck. Oh, trip up. That was Jurek who went down, and now moving the other way is the Hornets. Gets a shot off. Ooh, save. Smith taps the players. Four seconds. Two, one. He's not going to get it off, no. So All some right. good defense there in the last few moments from McCann. And after some early goals by Green Wave, McCann starts to climb back just ever so slightly. Five to two is the score as we end the second period. What kind of stuff are you looking at, Oliver? I'm, you know, I'm thinking it's very possible for a comeback. I, yeah, honestly, I yeah, I agree with you. Because they were, I think they were playing a little better this period. Mm -hmm. I, I think I thought they were playing a lot more aggressive. We saw more hits from them, more like checks, yeah. all that kind of stuff, like stick checks. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the thing that I'm thinking about right now is, you know, you come into the game and you look at their the team's uh, records. Oh, four and two against 0 and five. We know who's winning this game. But what you can also think of it as is, oh, 0 and five, they're hungry. They're yeah. hungry for that win. Yeah. They want it. And I think that in this third period, we're going to see a lot more. We're going to see even more scaled up aggression, more checking from the Hornets. Um, and... We'll see if they can climb back against um, Cooper Smith and the Greenfield Green Wave. So we're going to be back in just a few minutes with the third period of this Green Wave hockey game. It's 5-2 to two there on top. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Oh, we got to get into this. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Oliver Cox, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy, the rest of the FCAT crew. It's 5-2. to two. Greenfield Green Wave is on top. They've been pretty dominant so far uh, this game, but we just saw McCann score uh, their second goal of the game, and uh, we were just talking about the possibilities of them orchestrating <clears throat> quite an impressive comeback if, they, if it was to happen. Yeah. And they have... Just under 15 minutes now to do that with this final third period. There was a shot opportunity for a green wave that happened while we were talking just now. I didn't see who got it off, but now it's on the other side of the ice. Penalty. Nope. Smith, pass forward. Seems like maybe the, what was it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. Ref was yelling something. Oh. Wiseman. And Hall comes on for him, receives the pass from Laurie. Ooh. Nice, nice touch forward. Ooh, slipping through. And Jurek can can't finish it off. Is that Jurek? Yes, it is Jurek. Couldn't see if it was a two or a seven. And Foles. Stops the scramble. This is, this is very diverse music. I love it. I am enjoying this very much, yes, though. Yes. In general. I'd be enjoying it more if I was a little more, uh, more. adequately clothed. No, definitely <laughs> prepare better next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's interesting because you don't think that you really need to dress warm for the winter sports games, mm -mm. even though it's in the yeah. winter. Yeah. And even though it's like 50 degrees outside, yeah. 40, 50 degrees out. Well, because, like, you know, we're in a building. Yeah. I'm that cold. Yeah, come nope. on. Freezing. I, you go out in the lobby and it's nice and warm. It's nice and warm in there. Oof. Stick check. Centering pass deflected back out. And now moving the other way. It's the Hornets, shot deflected and goes wide. Ooh. That Ooh. was from Ashton Buddha, I think. Can't see over your head. Oh. <laughs> I got to stand up on this one. <laughs> shot goes wide in front of the net. And the pass forward. Oh, look at this. Shot goes right into the chest of Foles. That was Gagne on the Ooh. shot. Down in the middle of the ice, Jurek. Can't connect. Good save. You know, I think they should build a little like heated box for us. Yeah. We need it. We need to be valued more. I know. What if I just stop showing up? Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start protesting. Well, the Mur Murphy would yell at us. Yeah. And we we don't want that. Yeah. You wouldn't get his pizza anymore. No. That yeah, that would be his punishment. You wouldn't get his pizza. <laughs> <laughs> nice pass. And that was kind of a back shot. Now it's loose centering pass, goes wide. And now it's Lori. Pass behind the back. And the shot save from Wiseman. Somebody lost a wallet. Oh. It's not me. I just, but I just, <laughs> I searched That's my me. pockets. I promise. It's me. <laughs> oh, it looks like they found it. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You know, fairly off topic, but I, there was a, when I used to run cross country, mm -hmm. and uh, there was one meet that we had, um, an invitational meet, like, Hundreds of schools there. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was really huge. Uh, and uh, I lost my wallet there. Ooh. And they had to announce it, like, over the loudspeakers. And, like, thankfully, like, I had some identification card in it. Yeah. And they knew who it was. But um, on the bus ride back, the coach was like, we set Red Hawk history today. This is the first time that someone has lost their wallet and then found it. 
in the same meet because apparently people lose their wallets all the time at the meets, mm -hmm. but they never find them. But yep. thankfully someone found Third it. Third time they're so. playing this song. I'm not complaining. Yes. Also, an icing was just called. Ah. That's why there's a face-off. And they restarted the song for a minute there. Only the beginning. Only the beginning. We heard the whole song as they were warming up, though, and I, that, yes, was, that was fun. I, li I, won't, I won't start talking about that because I can talk for a while about <laughs> that song. Oh, anyway. I'm, I'm well aware because you have. <laughs> Hunter Smith behind the net. Don't want to get you started on Nirvana. Oh. Get you talking for hours. Come on, man. <laughs> nice pass over to, that was Gagne. Shot wide just now. Haven't been seeing as much hits lately. Oh, and the shot blocked. Great save. Wow, shaking the glass. A, I don't think he really connected well with the player, but definitely connected with the boards. I'm talking like the, the, the. Oh. Yes, there was a lot of, it was Oh, shaking. goes down in the middle of the ice. Struggling to get up, and now that must that must be scary when there's like a bunch of yeah. you go down and then you're just like scared of getting whacked in the head by a stick. Yeah. And look oh. at this! Oh my! Gagne definitely upset with himself after that. It was a great opportunity. Stick lost by McCann. Oh, and he couldn't quite connect that with the one timer. And that. Where'd it go? I think he scored. I think he scored. I do, yes, he scored. <laughs> that was the most <laughs> that was nonchalant <laughs> score ever. Wow. Well, I think that it was the most nonchalant score ever because it was Jake Jurek who scored, and that is his 10th goal of the season so far. Sorry, I'm getting down into the song right now. I'll respect it. I, just, I won't interrupt you. I'll just, I'll just talk to the people. All right. Oh, it's and gone now. Stops. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. And now we have Oliver go. back. Little pat on the back from the rev. Did you see that? I did not. I was watching <laughs> the puck. <laughs> Icing. Prunier, number 11, he was uh, backing up trying to use um, skating backwards, and the ref was right behind him. He just like kind of <laughs> patted him on the back, like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> just to let him know. It was funny. Dude. Getting some once Ramones a, once in here? Once again, better than any basketball playlist I've heard in my entire life. I know. Dodged the check but lost the puck. He's hockey still loose. Got good taste. Well, I you know I think what my I what my bet is is it's made by adults. Yes. So the adults yes. are putting music from their time, mm -hmm. which also happens to be the music that is like that we like. So. Yeah. So yeah, we're not. I'm not complaining. I am not. I, no. I think they should keep doing oh, it. Wow. A little Smith. bit of extra shove there. Oh, that wasn't Smith. That was uh, Rhodes. Loki Rhodes. Cool name, Loki Rhodes. I think. Oh no, I'm remembering that from somewhere else. Sorry, I'm getting confused. And now this is number four. Ooh. Kickstart my heart <laughs> times four. You were, you were like, you had, you were on that. I was, dude. <laughs> Less than it's a an second. A, it's an iconic intro, okay? Yeah. And looks then, like and the then like the other yeah. iconic, and now we got another uh, power play. Yeah, and it, it looks like that player is upset with himself. Yeah. It's Mason Rudeau who scored the first goal for McCann. They need to fade it out. That's what yeah. they need to do. <laughs> they just like, they're really hitting me with that. Yeah. Go, bringing me going cold turkey. Jurek Ooh. with the opportunity. Save, rebound, not there. Clear is no good, and they're going to try again off the boards. Can't get to it in time. Smith is there. Hunter Smith drops it off. Across the ice in front of the net. And can they stay on top of it? I don't think so. They're going to send it around the boards. And now, Ooh. moving the other way. Oh. <sighs> would have been a good, a one on one, is, would have been just the opportunity they need. Yeah. Buddha tried to make a nice move there, couldn't quite finish it. And now Smith on the other side of the ice. I keep wanting to say court. Because, I mean, the main sport we cover for winter is basketball. Oh, and look at this. This might be a good opportunity for them again. Buddha, 
cross oh. pass, a bit too far behind him. Now Frontier moving the other way. Oh, couldn't hold on to it, Matthew Godwin. Oh, not Frontier, Ooh. excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. That is, it's instinct. Huh? I said Frontier by accident, it's Greenfield. I yeah. Didn't yeah. Well, yeah, but that's because uh, we don't, what other sports other than like swimming? Yeah, there's, barely, co there's no other real co-ops that we pay this much attention to, really. Yeah. Because are we, are we going to cover a swim, like a swim I don't. Meet? I don't even know how we would even begin to like set that up or yeah. anything like that. Get underwater cams. <laughs> that be, would be That cool. would be really like cool. Like having like the Olympics yeah. and stuff. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. But I look, at, look at him spinning be. around on the ice. Ooh, shot Good saved clock. by Foles. And the power play is just about over. Now it is over as Rideau comes back out on the ice. Frontier, not Frontier, oh my God. I really need to watch myself now because I'm more aware of it. Greenfield. Greenfield, still with possession of the puck. Shot saved and covered up by Foles. I reason why they put a song on I mean, you just look at each other like I haven't been just surprised that they're this playing this. Interesting. Yeah, I've, I don't know what this is. I it's got a goofy little beat to yeah. it. Yeah. So, no offense to whoever made the song. Kind of sounds like it was made in GarageBand. No offense. Yeah. Yeah. Like that is some. No, you're right. Band you're right. Beat. You're right. Auto generated too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> nice move there. Oh, Grabbed caught that. by Jurek. Now he's moving. Oh, oh couldn't the connect the pass, but it's picked back up. That pass can't quite that, get there either. That was That's a nice pass, though. They had, they had some going there. If they could connect those passes, that would have been. Oh. Wow. I don't know if they, like, oh, froze the puck. I don't know if they, like, specifically designed these walls to make such a loud noise when something gets rammed into I it. I feel like they might have, honestly. We do have a penalty. Why is it so silent? I don't know. Slashing? Did you hear that? I think it was slashing, maybe. So that's Jack Laurie, the defenseman, going into the box I'll for two minutes. I'll wait for the mirror now. Yeah. You'll have to wait for them to turn off their song first. I know. I'm liking it. I'm vibing with it. Hornets interference. Interesting. Shot deflected wide. I don't know what that entails, interference. Yeah, but it's a fairly general oh, term. Centering pass. And now it's cleared out. No icing. Greenfield has done a phenomenal job oh. this game uh, killing the power plays yeah. that uh, McCann has been able to get. Speeding down the ice, oh. shot, saved, and Ow. slams into the boards. Wow. That was Hall, Porter Hall, who I don't think he wasn't even like really checked into the boards. That was a good move there. Dallas Richer, starting center. Richter. I'm Richter. Ready. Is it Richter? Let me see. There is a T. Yeah, but it's oh, it's after the CH. So is it after it? It is. Yeah, I thought it was before. No, it's after. So it oh, okay. Be okay. Ugh. Sticks kind of tangled up for a moment and. Now McCann has it in the neutral zone, moving it forward. Ooh. On the near side, nice. Put some moves on him. Some good handle, I'm liking it. Puck gets behind him a little bit and he has to pass it back. It just looked like he was trying to scoop it up? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Just couldn't quite handle it and then he lays a <laughs> hit. Check on him, yeah. It was a little, a bit yeah. of a late hit, but. Behind the net, pass forward and now he's back again. Oh, nice stick check. That was good. Can't quite clear it out. Oh, another good stick check. Can't get his stick down. Nolan Booth. 
Got to be careful with all these stick checks they're throwing, though. Don't want no slashing yeah. penalties or anything. Oh. And he's coming out of the box, but then Jurek comes on. Trying to put some more pressure on Abby Fulls. Nice pass. Trying to get a little bit of room and just wide left. He was looking for that top shelf. Ooh. Stick knocked loose. Round the net. And that's wide. Oh. That was a nice. Oh, it wasn't fast enough, but yeah. that was nice. It was a good job by his teammate on the near side, avoiding that offsides, and Hunter Smith. And Foles freezes the puck. It was a good job by McCann, good defense there. Colliding with him, and then he just loses the puck. No, I'm liking it, man. It's... Gotta bust a move every time these songs come on. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. I wonder how similar strategy for hockey is to like soccer strategy you know what i mean i actually think it, i would I, imagine it's probably closer to basketball really mm -hmm. i mean they do have the same number of uh players out mm -hmm. there um he d does not have his stick he does it he's kicking <laughs> it around <laughs> where did his stick go that's bruce that's buska brady buska and it's stuck up against the boards now jerry gets it out no trying to get some room uh, personally, I was watching, was that Buska lost his stick? Yeah. I think it interfered. And he scores! Jurek in the top shelf. That's his 11th, second goal. 11th goal. What? 11th goal this season? Yeah, 11th goal this season, second of the night. We could possibly have two hat tricks. That Yes, Three we could. That's left. Yeah, because we've got Hunter Smith. He scored two early goals in the first period, and we haven't seen him... Uh, Oh, looks like we have a new goalie coming in. Number 30, Logan Karen. It's Logan Karen. I also did see Ben Karen here, so I do have yeah, a I slight feeling it could be maybe a sibling. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Hunter Smith with the puck. Oh, whoa. Took that like a champ. There. Yeah, big hit there on the boards. And Greenfield still with the puck. Gets shoved away. It's Matt Garvin who received the hit just now. Ooh. Oh, man. There we go. We're getting a lot of hits are big wrapping collision. up now. Oh, just like, <laughs> wow. Some exchanges of words, too. They're talking to each other after the hits. Pass forward a little bit too fast for Garvin. Getting in oh, front getting of Smith, back. and now he's got a chance. Ooh. Save from Fulls. Garvin kind of slams to the boards from his own speed. Clear back out. I don't know what happened there with him. Freezing the, throws the puck. Now we got two minutes left in the game. Ball out, boy. It's good. Good stuff. I don't, my main problem with the cold, it makes my eyes tired. Because I want to keep my eyes shut to warm them up because yeah. they're cold. I know, yeah, I know what you mean. So it makes me tired. And that's shot out of play right off the face off. Wow. <laughs> oh, right back to follow. Bro. Right, yeah. Right back to it. They don't, they don't miss, man. Yes, this is a very good sign. I really do think they could um, utilize a fade out. Yes, in the music. a fader would be a worthy investment for this team. Ooh. Slides into the, the other player on his butt. <laughs> There's big collisions. Helmet kind of comes loose over there. More collisions on the boards, and now it's moving the other way for Greenfield. Oh, two on two. Oh, wide shot, a little high, I think. That was Beckwith who got the shot off for a green wave. <laughs> and that oh, shot goes oh, right oh. into his teammate. Yikes. <laughs> I think it was. Do they call offsides? I don't know. Maybe. I think it is, yeah. It might be an offside. I think it's offsides. <laughs> oh, because Petrin hit it towards him, so then yeah. it hit him and his 
body was. Ah, and he that's was what it was. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's <laughs> funny. That's, uh, that's funny. Good job for the rest for realizing that, because I would have just been laughing at it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Now Petrin has to rush back. Isaac's called. Could not beat it. Can players looking around in confusion there? They didn't. Yeah, I yeah. thought that I thought they definitely beat that, but I guess not. Oh, looks like the ref's explaining to him. <laughs> Ushering him over. I think the tempers are running a little bit high between some of the players, though. Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah. just a little. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and there you go. Breakaway, nice oh. save from Karen. I, I think that was Logan Karen's first save that he's made. Petrin going behind the net, but he loses the puck. McCann with an opportunity. There you go, good hit. And Petrin kind of getting pestered by Richter. Trying to get the pass over to Richter, but it's too far. A lot of collisions in the yeah. middle of the ice. I think you are right. I think it's a good tempers thing, are yeah. running a little high. It's Maybe. a good thing this oh. game is going to be over in just a few moments. Big hit over there. If we get a big collision at the end, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a fight at the end. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. Shoving and going on over there. Scrambling oh, wow. for the puck. Yeah. Wow. A lot of pushing up against the boards. And that's it. There that's it. Shouting at each other a little bit after yeah. the fact. and Good job just walking it off, skating away. Oh. But, yeah. So, oh, and they took down the scoreboard right away. I'm pretty sure it was. 7-2, to seven. I think it was. 7-2, to two. we're getting the thumbs up from Murphy. Seven All right. To two. All right. Fantastic. So. There's your game, folks. There we go. For the fun night. The Chelsea Dagger. With a great soundtrack, too. And Green Wave comes out on top. They're coming into the new year with a 5-2 and two record. McCann still looking to break their losing streak, oh and going 0-6 into the new year. So uh, tough game for them. They had a couple of hopeful moments. Uh, and I got to say, I was very impressed uh, with uh, Abby Foles tonight doing a great job holding her own in uh, the goal. You don't see that a lot, I feel yeah. like, um, on any level, really. Um, but it was, I mean, I had a lot of fun doing this. I mean, it's cold, oh. but. <laughs> well, don't worry, next time we'll prepare better. Two pairs of socks. Two pairs of socks. Uh -huh. A nice big sweater. Oh yeah. Maybe two beanies even. And I think we need to stop by Duncan for that, oh, uh, that the box chocolate. of hot chocolate. That'll be that'll be fun. So first, I, I don't know, man. Because personally, not a big hot chocolate fan. Oh come on! I, all right, all right. So seven to two is the score. Cooper Smith with another great game in the goal for Green Wave, and we had close to two hat tricks by yeah. some of their uh, players. It was Hunter Smith and uh, Jake Jurek who now has uh, 11 goals on the season. Great way to end 2023 for this team. Yeah. I think that's all we got. Yeah. yeah. I've been Mason Smith, Oliver Cox, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you all for tuning in with us tonight. We hope you have a wonderful night and a happy new year. Happy new year.